Yeah. But in terms of calculation, uh, what to make fun of special forces, I see special forces of the disciplined forces, ATO, CGU, SABU, D+. Plus. But then, ukiangalia ku interpret map, ukiangalia ku calculate CGU sniper ana nyoamtu from CGU two miles, yeah. mm. ukiangalia iso, there's a lot of mathematics involved. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, does it ni mathematics sisi usoma? <laughs> <laughs> Ama there's a different kind of uh, well um, training can transform anyone as long as there's a willing mind can transform you into anything. The minimum grade I know for sure for uh, our regular soldiers is a D. But um, you know the weapons, the weapon systems, and the kinetics thereof will take you through quite a bit of learning. And it's drummed in pain. The mm. training is very painful, and they say lessons learned in pain are hardly forgotten. Yeah. And that's what so you want to say. So when I move to a sniper, and they'll they'll get into it. It's more like a draft, what you want to You know, you get uh, very proficient in it that you can pretty much play blindfolded, right? Yeah. And the way a sniper team would work is that you have a spotter and you have the fighter themselves, okay? And so you work as a team. That team has got to be in sync with each other. And there's a lot of calculations that have been pushed into that uh, weapon system. You know, if it's the scope or things like that. So you're able to basically dial into an estimate distances between here and the target. And you're able to adjust accordingly. Now, math is very important. Actually, I would say in the special way, physics is. Because the laws of kinetics, uh, you know, the kinetic energy blowing. being mm. half, mean, uh, half uh, mv squared, you know, mass times velocity squared. And we learned that. You so, could not have a physics in form two, but you get to meet it and, and you're required to set even antenna for communication. Mm. You go into battlefield, you're all alone and you're a special forces team. A small team of six men and you have a radio op who can, you know, you, you can jam systems, you can pretty much transmit something from deep within. So he has to wreck it, a suitable position, he has to look at the length of the antenna that's able. It's all, cal it's physics. So the okay. things we see in the movies, as far as calculations, as snipers Probably, are Probably, um, trust me, what the movies expose you to uh, is, a, is, a, is a toned down version yeah. of it. Yeah. Quite a, quite a, you know, a toned down version of what goes on. Behind the scenes, you imagine the, the motions in where you are set, setting up this, this, yeah. this stuff in, in adverse weather. There's the real human being that you are painting with that cross hairs and they need to be dispatched. Uh, there's quite a bit of, of things. That, and the calculations are going to be spot on. A sniper is being hunted by a fellow sniper. They can't count as sniping. If you announce your position, your presence, someone is going at home in and kill you the next if you miss, if you didn't get him. Okay? Or you're going to wake up the whole, the, the, the whole uh, populace within that battlefield. And what happens? Good news is going to be flying your way. Yeah? Wow. Good, bad for you, good for them. Okay? So there's no second guessing stuff. And I mean, you could be miles with deep within enemy territory. That's not where, where you want to make mistakes. Because if that happens, rescue won't be coming quite easily. Like people for in my trade, uh, you are the finest, you are the best of the best. Oh, Tainda Maluski, I mean, me. So where you can get Mali, you know, if you go on an operation, now, and then you get surrounded by the enemy, they are not coming for you. Uh, trust me, it would be a difficult call. But uh, of course, we work with the uh, reinforcement uh, forces that are just as good, or, or probably not, not as good, but they have the punching power, they have better training than everybody else, and they have the, the, the capacity to get in there, you know, when it's thickest, when it's hottest. So those, those calculations, and that's why I would love for even hopeful who are going into this trade to understand that it's, it's really professional. And I'm not going You would not get, um, you know, overly stupid guys within. You know, uh, so if you are getting in into that, expect so much. You will know the length that are training to tafundishwa vitu, and you need to learn them on the fly. Okay. Training period is short, mm -hmm. even if it's a cadet. You know, we, they now take to three months. But you imagine learning so much, and you have to take it in. You, we don't need. We need people who have proper judgment. And reason why you also have the menace, maybe with um, other security forces within this country where people are shot because of it was. Uh, a stray bullet, uh, that, that's not an excuse. You guys don't have stray bullets. It's more like a teacher beating you with a chalk because they did not, uh, they were careless about, you know, as they are writing on the chalkboard. Yes, yes, it yes. should not happen. So professionalism means that um, you if you're in this trade, you do a proper job at it. Be centered, do a proper job at it. If you not, shape out. About the pain, your son, is, your son knows what he's signing up for. He <laughs> uh, does. He knows? He does. And you are willing to take him through that? Why not? He's a fine, he's a fine guy. 
or you've tested him. Yeah, he's fine. <laughs> <laughs> he has the right brains, he's, 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 he's got the temperament, um, he is with it. You need someone who's solid, you need someone who's controlled. You need a, what we say, con call controlled aggression. So your son at his age uh, is around? Uh, he's, he's eight now. Eight? He's eight years, yes. Wow, we are around seeing us at the same time. But then, you see, <laughs> <laughs> so at his age, yes. you, you train him. Kidogo, kidogo pale, kumondesha. Yeah, uh, kosao. Mwalimu aneza mwabia kitu. Yes, <laughs> and that is what, what, what means to be someone, a, a human being that's an all-rounder and who's solid like uh, self-awareness. I'm not going to be the guy who's uh, kicking, you know, people in the street be oh, because, but because of that. Akilala chini mwalima mchape. Hata mwalima najua this is just PR. Ah, uh, kutu sa. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. But he's good. I mean, a discipline um, will be an equalizer, okay. right? So he's disciplined. He knows exactly what he's supposed to do. And I, I, I would digress a little bit, you know, that that's, that's good parenting and I'm you know, hopeful that uh, other people, you don't need to uh, raise your kids like an angel. You need to try hard enough as a parent to ensure that even those you are raising, and, and kids learn through what you do, not what you say, actually. So uh -huh. the example that they get from how they look at you. Come away and all them say, when I feature you, my, you know, siblings, and uh, you're drinking in the pub, dingy pubs That's what to avoid learn. policemen. That's what they learn. The, okay. the current spirit of school bandings, we just give the example. Okay. Our kids are portraying the best, uh, you know, uh, at, uh, you know um, examples of what they've, they've learned. Okay. Right? Sawa, us. sawa. Sawa. Uh, yeah. uh, when a e conversation na when writing. Mm -hmm. I'm a writer myself, but mm -hmm. a different kinds of writer, but I believe I can train for something else, yeah. right? Yeah. If you are to write a military movie, yeah. na jua wale watu wako home, wako, hey, maze ni kona script ya cinema, ni kona script ya Somalia. You mm. can't write from creativity. Mm. You, can, you have to consult with mtu kama Byron. Mm. Di ujue, kama for example, a script, one of my best movies na itua The Last Castle. Mm -hmm. Haina risasi, it's a military movie. Yeah. Haina risasi mahali, but you'll follow from when it starts to information, information. Yeah. Uh, can you write that without being in the military? Uh, eh, ni noma, ni ngumu. You see, again, believability, relatability. You know, okay. the, you see, you can be as creative as you can. As I, you can create your own world. You can imagine your own world. Eh? Mm -hmm. Yes. But if you're bringing, if you want to sell it to people, the, the, then you have to sort of put aspects in there. Ambazo yes. tunes and I usually give the, the very basic example of Titanic. Mm -hmm. You know, some you know, if you ask many people here about the ship. Titanic, the ship, the passenger, British passenger liner yeah. yes, yes, yes. that sank in the early 19th century. Yeah. Many people don't know that. Mm -hmm. They just, they don't know the details. But if you ask them about the film, they will relate to it. And no, it's not because of the ship. It's because of what happened in the ship. And what happened in the ship is very, it's very human. It's love. It's a mm -hmm. poor boy meet a rich girl, fall in love and, you know, status. All that, Those are yeah. things that you and I can relate to. Mm -hmm. Now, if I am doing a military story and um, or a story that has military aspects, eh, then and I do not have that knowledge, then it is it's only important that I do consult so that I have the right representation, because art is an extract of life. There is why would I want to give an extract that is misrepresented? Mm -hmm. okay. So it is only fair that I I approach people like Byron and I say, oh, so I'm thinking like this and this and this. But eventually, of course, I will have, because you see, in a film, we, we jump time, what we call we jump time. Yeah. You know, come on, Byron will tell you, when you are sent to Somali, for example, as a special forces, eh? After training, Mali is doing forward training operational center. Munakapo, sniper anatumwa, nini, nini. Now, sniper is going maybe 20 kilometers in. Eh? Yes, yes, yes. And then you guys start going on foot. Nafika Mali, Mlanzatuna. Nini, always if I knew you could movie, unless yes. movie is four days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we yeah. jump time. So eventually, when Byron gives me, when I consult Byron and he tells me, Yo, you know, when you're dealing with a sniper, there's a spotter who does one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I will say, Good. Now I will extract the beat that I feel will push my story forward. Okay. okay yeah. Okay. Okay. But all these other things, it's very important information, but I cannot, I cannot show everything. Mm. Ah. Yeah. 
Okay. Sawa sawa. We've mentioned the word spotter mara mingi sana. Most of you just know a sniper. Spotter ni ule msiku kwa melala hapo kando ya sniper hivi. Piga kichwa. Piga kichwa buda. Piga kichwa. Ah, ah wewe. Hey, spotter. <laughs> <laughs> spotter ni fun. Fun wa kwa watu wa kipigwa ni sasa. No, for real. The spotter is equally as good as a sniper. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. But actually the focus if you look at uh, if you are good in you know that business yes. you you know the focus is not actually on the head as most uh, it's, it's Gucci right. to hit some on the head yeah, yeah. No, but you focus on the center of mass uh, you have hand. more vital organs on the so chest so you are like a cupid's arrow <laughs> 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 yes yeah is someone is gonna not gonna be, right. the, the chest would remain facing you but see our heads are darting left and right mm. and there's no target uh, in the battlefield with their head fixed like that waiting for you to shoot them yeah. ah. so you'd rather focus on Uh, to raise your uh, probability of, of you know oh, uh, of succeeding absolutely and then uh, sniper team ni watu wawili watu wawili yes. two people yeah. the spotter and uh, so spotter as in the shooter okay so i'm th- as a christian yes, yes. now mm-hmm. <laughs> as a christian yes you are a two man operation yeah so how do we choose who will shoot kama nimeokoka as in <laughs> on, ju- on judgment day I'll tell God that me nilimwambia tu so uh, <laughs> you know there's the ethical version of uh, is it just war the, 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 the ethical bit of it I mean even if you were to go back to the biblical days we had uh, the Israelites I mean in one respect you'd say they are butchers they yes, went yes. out there and killed all the tribes that are against them but who sent them who was on their side God absolutely So if it's just I mean that's that's a validation for the business at hand. So irrespective of whoever takes the target and whoever says it <laughs> um, you know it's neither here nor there. Ah, okay. uh, if someone has had to kill people which you don't need to be uh, confused about someone who walks into this room and steps on someone's foot and doesn't feel that someone is feeling pain and so it's not a bad thing. Mm-hmm. Okay? Uh, there's things that are common sense so if uh, if that person were to be um, handled by the normal justice system let's say you is arrested you take him to the central police station let's say he's nearby you make that report uh, you wouldn't go home back home feeling guilty uh, ab- about that and that's what happened so uh, by and large we we don't um, we are not the people who are going to cross our arms across our chests and and say oh we killed so many people the bigger picture is yeah. you know we did yeah, something yeah. Uh, to help Na when I'm sharp sana. Eh when I'm sharp sana. <laughs> But then you've answered the most difficult question. Yes, I've yes. grappled with that question from high school. Uh-huh. And the reason why I've never asked that question yes. is a, 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 one of my schoolmates uh-huh. asked their brother that question akapigwa vita ya come and see. Is that's it? what we described. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what we described it as but we may navigate very 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 smartly Thank you. now be- before 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 nini uh, our director arnold anauliza yeah. in the movie shooter yes. there's a movie called shooter okay. yeah sniper anakuanga peke yake uh-huh. so they lie to us you yeah. can't snipe alone ah uh, wow yeah, you can you know, it depends it depends the context uh, trust me in some jobs you can pretty much be on your own what if your Freelance. partner is 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 is, is neutralized Yeah, so I don't know the con- uh, fine. Let me say uh, no the context. Just like what I thought the, the Rambo movies. Uh, we now know for certain there's things that we can pick. Uh his, his guns go without uh, you know running out of ammo and things like that. So old as we are now, fine, aged and mature, we know. And yes, a sniper operates in a team, you know, uh, mm-hmm. and for several purposes. That spotter is not just going to be the guy who picks targets. He mm-hmm. does quite a number of things. These yeah. calculations we're talking about and he gives it is around has got to be adjusted. He's the man who makes the call. You no, know? no hit. So, you know, adjust accordingly. Maybe wind speed is changed, maybe elevation, a number of things. Yeah? A body body system. Just like in our case, you won't find a special forces operator being a Rambo and going somewhere alone. Mm. Yes, there are jobs that may require you to if you are doing some low level let's say surveillance in this town, dress up, have the rendezvous like I do. And and you just someone, uh, you're a businessman, you know? But how do you know whether you are a bad man? Kama ujaingia kari ubangi peke yako, how do you know? <laughs> how do you know? How do you know wewe ndio baba yao? No, you don't need to be put to test. You're confident in your abilities. That's all that matters. But they are not tested abilities as in Wow, wow, then the amount of testing that happens. Then in, basi you are a trained coward in that case. No, no, no. <laughs> Let me tell you the, there's there's definitely zero cowards in and it's it's a natural selection. It's mm. what we tell and what are told uh, candidates in the special forces 
where now is you know operations officer and training officer you know we don't test we don't select anybody here it's more of a question of you guys selecting yourselves mm -hmm. we give you the standards you rise above them if it's carrying a bag a bag and weighted uh, with uh, uh, 45 pounds and you're running from point a to point b and you make it in two hours you get there a second later and they tell you not um, you know you, you cannot be one of us uh, and, and that's what it is so it's, and it's designed to pick the finest out of that sea of you know dreamers yeah and this is is that is that fair mm -hmm. so and it's not just the physical might it's a lot of psychological and mental strength and tenacity to belong okay so those are not the guys who are going to 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 want to get tested by fighting some cheap bouncers on steroids in town yes uh, if it's, <laughs> it's, it's get to that point then they, you, they prove themselves okay yes, yes, uh, and i'm not saying that they go out fighting but i mean if you know how it happens sometimes and and someone just got spanked or someone's girlfriend just got beaten or things like that and then these guys are going to kill people they've happened ah. in clubs mm -hmm. yeah so sometimes you you, you go to act sometimes in self-defense and, and the results have been out there for people to see ah. uh, but most importantly i mean i saw the, the funny one where there, were, there was a the cheetah and uh, there were a couple of dogs that were running out of a cage and they were in some competition and when the balloon went up for the race to begin the cheetah remained in, the, in its cage mm -hmm. and what did you say <laughs> yeah sometimes you don't need to take on small time you know races like that to prove yourself ah. <laughs> yeah so, so. The, the sweetness is in just the idea that now is like fanya vibaya just the idea the no, potential not is like crazy <laughs> just like what they call made the mutually assured destruction eh? mm -hmm. uh, no one has a after after japan you know was hiroshima and nagasaki right yes, yes, yes. Uh, the nuclear you know bombs that are dropped there and during the cold war u.s russia you remember during that time and, and yes, just the knowledge that you have, you know, nuclear warheads, and I have the same. You don't need to. We've seen the destructive yeah. effect. So what we call mutually assured destruction, like you know, I have this stuff, and, and if you were to get you as man, we all gonna die anyway. Yeah. So okay. and so it, it's 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 a negotiated peace, you know, in tranquility, oh. but you are as strong as you know, the strongest uh, big dove is is they're gonna be the most peaceful. It doesn't okay. need to go out there pecking all birds to prove oh. they are. Okay. capacity so, so i think that's a, a very very nice way to put it uh just by the fact that you are trained you are uh, i don't do small time let the devil come himself yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, we'll deal with you yeah